Hello, um, is the microphone on? Okay, um, here we go. I'm, I'm Ajar again. I'm uh, the Puppeteer Lounge uh, product. Basically, um, this is collaborations with Blender Sushi. So, I'm gonna give you another um, look at Blender and we're gonna look at a couple of ways we can generate uh, like a 3D objects in Blender. So, there are many ways we can do this and the first one and the easiest way is to use this panel on the left side. So this panel on the left side that I'm looking at is basically if we tap uh, T, we have this panel and then we can go under create. And here we have um, all the buttons to generate uh, 3D objects. So remember what we have earlier, um, I talked before that there's a 3D cursor here that you can place in a 3D view using left mouse button. Once you place that, you can simply click on one of these. So create a cube, and there you go, you got a cube. Put put the 3D cursor somewhere else and then create a cube, cube, and now we have another cube. So that's the first and the easiest way to generate uh, 3D objects. Um, but you also have um, other ways, like uh, if you are using uh, Shift A, uh, Blender is famous to have a lot of hotkeys, but the hotkey is there to help you um, to work really, really fast. On the left, your left hand is going to be on the keyboard, your right hand on the mouse, three mouse button, and then you can you can really work really really fast. Like Shift A is the hotkeys that allows you to create objects, and this is how I usually do it. So I just place the 3D cursor there and then Shift A and I'm selecting a cube and then I have, again, I have the polygon cube. So that's the second method on how you want to create a 3D objects or, yeah. There's also, um, if I'm not wrong, there's also a ways to add objects from here. So this is the third method using the menu, uh, but if you are like, um, the more advanced user you are like, a if you use Blender for a while, you don't actually access uh, from here. Although you can, you can do that, no problem. Objects, and then you know, add a um, mesh cube or add a monkey head if you like. Add a cube. There you go. That's the third method to create a cube or any 3D objects in Blender. And there's also another method, and that's actually the method that I use often. Uh, it's actually spacebar. So whenever you have a, a mouse hovering anywhere, you can tap spacebar and then just tap in the object you want to create. In this case, a cube, for example. There you go. You have another way to create a cube. And if you like, you can also create a monkey. So add a monkey and you get a monkey head. Very, very fast. If you want it to be, if you want to type it, that's uh, how you do it. And another method is actually to use a Python script. So Blender comes with a Python uh, scripting and then you can add using um, this um, command, bpy or bpy.ops operators mesh primitive monkey add. So if you really want to do that, you can, definitely you can. Uh, see, uh, I'm gonna quickly go and under here we have Python console and we can we can simply type in what we have here from the history. So bpy.ops.mesh primitive control space and then we can see primitive monkey add and then that's gonna create another monkey head. So yeah there are many ways to create objects in Blender. What else can we use? Uh, so this one is the method that I, re I really like, but you can also use a Pi menu. There is something called Pi menu in Blender. And Pi menu is something that you need to activate from the user preferences. Uh, Pi menu is like a, if you ha often use a certain command, you can create a Pi menu, like a custom Pi menu. And then you can create objects that way. So that's kind of interesting as well. I kind of wish that Blender works with Siri because if I normally, if I double tap uh, functions, I, I usually call Siri and I can use dictations, voice dictations. 
and I'm pretty sure uh, with certain app it's possible but let me try doing it you know like create a cube I'll remind you. see I just create a cube right I just use Siri to create a cube and I go back to blender and then tap spacebar let me hide this um, let's see and then tap spacebar and then paste it here create a cube so this of course doesn't work pretty well we need to say the exact command add cube so there you go the, the one the last one with Siri is just uh, like a joke and I think it's kind of possible you know but uh, I don't know maybe in the future we do that and imagine if I'm like a if I am as HR here I'm a 3d characters inside blender but if I'm like a human and then I'm using my 3d glasses and let's say if I'm kind of working in the AR or VR environment I like to be able to create objects this way you know like using using voice you know like the hey Siri create a cube or hey Siri add a cube and then that should work properly you know and yeah I kind of wondering uh, if that's possible in the future maybe in the near future if you are in the AR or VR environment you want to create object really quickly and then if you say you want to connect the cube scale to or you want to connect this cube with Suzanne head you can you should be able to do that very very easily and there is one more thing actually if you want to create objects you can use nodes and there's something called Svechok add-on and with Svechok add-on you can actually create a cube um, using nodes and a cube is called box in Svechok and this is a box objects and then if you right click and then if you use a bmesh viewer you connect this to that guy and then we should have a cube there you go that's another cube but uh, the cube this time is a node and a node is a you know a node is a node it's very interesting you have you have control over the nodes and you can do a lot of funky things with the nodes of course um, there you go that's one special way to create objects in blender using nodes but this one of course uses fair chalk add-on and that's something that blender sushi guy likes to use um, but yeah now you learn a lot of ways you can create 3d objects in blender okay i'll see you again thank you bye